Okay, so welcome back to my channel, guys. In my previous videos, I've got like a lot of love, a lot of comments. Quite a few students were asking about cutoffs. Quite a few students were also asking about uh, if I got a civil branch in bits and if I got an IT branch somewhere else. Like, how do I, like, what do I choose? So, this is for all those people who think that if you don't get like a 300, 350 plus score, you won't be able to get computer science. Like it's, it's not like that. You can still get computer science. You can get electronics, uh, and communication. You can get electronics and electrical. You can get all the other good branches without having the score for it. So don't lose hope. You can still get computer science. I know a lot of students who've got around two fifties, two sixties, two forties, even who are in computer science, who are getting it placements. So how is this possible and how do you even avail it? The answer is dual degree. What is a dual degree? It is a five year course and uh, like it is, it is quite different from the normal course, which is usually a four year course. And the dual degrees have like an MSc branch and then you have a main branch, which you are doing. So for the MSc branch, you have like biology, economics, maths, chemistry, physics. So these five branches are there for MSc, which you can opt for. And, uh, then based on that, you can choose your um, other branch. Okay. So how to get this other branch and how to even get computer science through this? Like, how is it even related? Right? So if you know, when you get into bits Pilani, the first year is common for all the students. Okay. The same subjects are there for everyone. Okay. So what you have to do as an MSc student is get a good CGPA. Okay. And based on that CGPA, you can get your desired branch. Okay. And each branch has a certain cutoff. Like for example, uh, for CS, the cutoff is around seven and above. ECE ke liye 6.5 and above. Triple uh, E ke liye 6.3 and above. And ENI ke liye 6.1 and above. Right? So these are the branch wise cutoffs during my time. Okay. The cutoffs keep changing based on how many students get whatever marks, but these are usually the safe scores. Like in ke upar mila to matlab mil hi jayega. Okay. And how does it work? How does the whole dual degree work? The way it works is pehle to first year, like I said, is common for everyone. And second year se core subjects chalu hote. Jaise, um, if you have taken MSc economics, then aapke economic ke courses chalu honge. And like, now say suppose your branch is MSc economics and CS. Okay, computer science. Okay, CS. So now say suppose there is another person who's also taken CS, but unka aise 4 saal ka course hai, aapka 5 saal ka course hai. So isme kya hota hai, ki wo Apna jo CS ka course hoga, he will start it from his second year. Because first year, as I said, it's common, all the subjects are common. Uh, second year, he will be starting his computer science course. As opposed to you, who will be start starting your computer science course from the third year. Because in the second year, mein, you will do your core subject, which is your MSc Economics. Right? So this is how it goes about. Now, what is the advantage of this? How does it work and how can it help you in getting not only a CS branch, but a much better placement also? I will explain all of this next. So coming to the pros and the cons of this, like what are the pros and what are the cons? The so pros ki baat pehle karte hai. Firstly, you get to choose your branch provided that you clear the cutoff, right? Abhi kaise rehta hai wo ki, uh, jaise mene bola ki computer science ho gaya, electronics and communication ho gaya, triple E ho gaya. So you study for your first, first year. You don't go for parties, don't go for your festivals, uh, jo bhi rehta hai. Try to score as much as possible. Try to score around 7.5 or 8 or something like that. It's not tough in the first year. Just as years progress with it, when you reach the second year or when you reach the third year, it becomes tougher to get the CGPA. Most of the CGPA that you get depends on your uh, PS. The better your PS is, the better your CGPA can increase because PS ke credits are more than that. The more the credits of a course, if you get a higher grade in the course, you can get a much higher CGPA. Right? So, pehle to, you get to choose your branch. If you are an electronics and communication enthusiast, then you can score, even if you score 9 CGPA, you can still choose electronics and communication as your second branch, as your main branch, sorry. So, coming to the second point, you can get help from your batchmates. Okay, now how does this work? This is thoda complicated. Uh, let's take this very slow. Jaise maine bola tha, aap agar ek economics plus computer science, which is CS, ke student ho. Eco plus CS. Okay. And the second student, say this is student number one, you, student number two, who is a student who has only CS. Okay. Self CS liya hai usne. Okay. So, isme kya hota hai ki this person 
has done his first year jo sabke liye common rehta hai like i said and he has done his second year which is the starting of his computer science degree right so now he has done some courses over there which he has either liked or not liked okay based on whatever his senior has told him he has taken these courses and he has seen how these courses are as opposed to you who are starting your eco ka uh, place uh, eco ka branch in your second year you are doing only eco because second year is the subject for your core subject which is your msc eco so you are doing eco in your second year and you are starting with computer science from your third year this person is starting his computer science from his second year okay so whichever courses this person has liked or whichever courses this person has not liked you can come to know about these courses beforehand so now you can start choosing which professors you want to work with which projects you want to do which courses you want to do as opposed to this person who has just gone in blind usne just seniors se puch ke seniors ne jo bataya usne le liya and he has continued with it as opposed to you who can actually take guidance from this person because he is your batchmate he has joined in the same year as you have joined right uh, so this is another advantage for you okay so now coming to the third advantage before i even talk about the third advantage let me explain what is a ps okay ps is something called practice school practice school bits mein do ps rehte hain which is like ps1 and ps2 ps1 rehta hai second year mein ps2 rehta hai fourth year mein okay so what is ps ps is like an internship that you can do in the corporate world you can get chosen by companies like amazon flipkart uber you can even work in startups and you can get a lot of industry exposure through this right and ps mein aisa rehta hai ki if you perform well in ps your cgpa will increase a lot because ps ke bahut zyada credits rehte hain as compared to the normal courses normal courses ke credits rehte hain usually 3 ya 2 as opposed to ps ke credits which are like 10 or 20 or something like that it can change so that is how the ps is done and uh, the the advantage over here is usually kya rehta hai ki ek semester mein ek ps rehta hai jaise ps1 will be in the second year ka ek semester koi bhi and ps2 will be in fourth year ka koi bhi semester and dusre semester mein placements rehte hai as opposed to the dual degree because you are doing a five year course most people have finished all their courses by the fourth year so what you can do is you can now opt for a ps in both the semesters you can either do a thesis or you can do a ps okay the first semester ka ps now the advantage on this let me explain let's take an it guy who is in, interested in software development okay say suppose he has gone in the first sem for an it job which is software development and he has not liked the job okay he does not want to continue with this then in the second sem he can change his ps and he can go to a different company he can do a different role he can probably do web development now or he can do back end uh, stuff in it he can do any of that okay so this will help him get a survival or a revival kind of a thing where he has taken one internship he did not like it so he went to a different internship as opposed to the normal students who only get one chance for this okay the second case for this which also turns out to be a favor for that person which also turns out in favor of that person is the fact ki agar isne software development liya in an it in a good it company and he has liked that and now he has chosen it for his second semester also this increases your chances to get a ppo a ppo is a pre placement offer and you don't even even have to sit for your placements you can directly get a ppo and you can get a job so you don't have to go through the whole placement interview process kuch nahi chahiye wo company ko lagega ki this person has given us probably 9 to 10 months of his time kyunki do internships 9 to 10 months of his time he has given so obviously this person is very dedicated to our company so you get a guaranteed placement this is the advantage of a dual degree where you can do a ps in both the sems and the fourth advantage of this is when you are doing a ps in both the sems like i said ps has very high credits you can increase your cgpa through this mostly every person gets an a or a higher grade nobody gets a b or b minus or c or c minus nothing like that everyone gets an a usually so the advantage of this is you can take the grade and your cgpa will increase because of the high credits for the ps so this is the fourth advantage now coming to the cons there are not much cons actually the only con is that the first disadvantage is that it's a hectic course hectic five year course you are also wasting one year of your actual life but you are guaranteeing yourself a job by doing the ps in the dual sem 
uh, in both the sense right the problem with the hectic course is the fact ki uh, second year mein you are doing your eco and third year mein you are doing some of the eco courses which are still left and the computer science ke courses also which is very tough to manage so this is the only disadvantage i feel and obviously the second disadvantage just for the sake of saying disadvantage is the fact ki your fees increase because fees bhi rehte hain per semester and you are doing an extra year so each semester fees are at least 2.5 lakhs so it will come to approximately 5 lakh extra but the problem but the solution to that is you are also getting a stipend in your uh, ps right uh, whatever internship you are doing it's not a free internship you get a stipend for it so with that stipend you can sometimes pay off this fees that's why this is not a big disadvantage but yeah this is one of the disadvantages so yeah i guess that's about it uh, thank you for listening to this till the end if you have any questions do put them in the comment section i'll try to answer as many questions as possible if i've missed any questions of yours in the past videos please do put them in the comment section of this video i'll definitely try to take them up the last videos had gone viral so there were a lot of comments and it was very tough to navigate through them but in this video you can obviously put in more and more questions i'd love to answer them and i'd love to take them up so or or otherwise you can directly hit my instagram which is insaneish with no space and you'll find me over there you can directly text me and all the best for your bits and it is coming from the 20s of this month and after that i'll be making another dedicated video to bits and where if you will come to know if you are a low scoring student average scoring student or a high scoring student so i'll give strategies for each one of them and how to go about it uh, do subscribe to the channel sorry through this video and uh, definitely a lot of more videos coming up so stay tuned and uh, all the best and uh, if there's anything else if there's anything else do let me know thank you